Show me how to stand for you. And I will rap for you, sing for you, reach for you, preach for you, teach for you. I will love you like you love me, unconditionally. And I will always be prepared for whatever the mission will be. His name is Earl Simmons, but we know him as DMX. He's an American rapper and songwriter. If you're a 90s baby, you'll know who this man is. Yesterday, Saturday, the 3rd of April, 2021, it was reported that DMX had been hospitalized and is currently on life support at a hospital in White Plains, New York. It has been reported that he is currently in a vegetative state after suffering a heart attack on Friday around 11 p.m. in his home in White Plains following an OD. He has been struggling with using for years. And as of the time of filming this video, he remains on life support according to recent sources. The last time I saw DMX, was around that epic versus battle between him and the rapper Snoop Dogg on the 22nd of July 2020. They had such a good, like such good banter and they had more than 500,000 fans watching the versus battle on IG Live. It was so cool to see the musicians have fun and not be dramatic or shady towards each other during their battle. It's nice to see artists just have fun and enjoy music and the nostalgia was just all over the place. It was great. It was one of the best versus battles thus far. Interestingly, pretty much all news sources who have reported on DMX's admission to hospital have spoken about his accomplishments as a music artist and then felt the need to make note of his record and the last time he went to prison. Now for me, I see that as kind of a low blow, like why go there when this person is literally fighting for their lives as, as we speak. But for me, when I heard about this, the first thing that came to mind was the amazing interview DMX did on The Breakfast Club some years ago. I didn't know he was suffering with using as much as he did, I didn't know he was as funny as he was, and I didn't know he loved the Lord the way he does. I think I might be wrong, but during that interview, he was showing what seemed to me to be like withdrawal signs or some kind of effects of using, right? As he was quite jittery and twitchy, couldn't stay seated and was sweating profusely as you will see in a minute. But after a while, all I could focus was where his words. DMX was saying some real stuff and I'm saddened that somebody who seemed to be going down a really great path, staying clean and exploring God and seemingly growing deeper in his love for Christ would fall back in this manner. But hey, I mean, nobody said life with Christ is a walk in the park it really takes faith beyond seeing results today but hoping and praying for strength to see it tomorrow that's what keeps us going as christians however i do always point out that we have free will and we're not held captive to only live a certain way so in this case unfortunately the temptations might have gotten the better of dmx let's just hope and pray he makes it out of this critical situation critical condition it has happened before so it could happen again Anyway, today I want to spend some time highlighting the DMX who was on the straight paths, who loves the Lord, who was speaking some real truth, but also the DMX who would have inspired many with his faith. And your prayer, your own prayer, will do you a lot better than someone else praying for you. Father God, I am just learning how to pray. Bear with me. First, I thank you for the life of everyone that's here with me. Then I thank you for the love you give me. Why? I don't know. I don't deserve it and it hurts inside. Many a nights I cried and called your name out loud, but didn't call you when I was doing good, too proud. And still you gave me love. Does that bother you that people don't see that side of X, that the spiritual side as much? They'll talk about everything else, right, right, right. but that spiritual side. Does it bother me? Um, not really. That's why I want to highlight it, the spiritual side, because it's there and he's out here repping God more than people who don't have a past like him, like his, like, lyrics with with all these interesting things in there you know um explicit lyrics and stuff like that but he's repping god more than some people who act holier than thou and i think it's an interesting side to behold you had like a help scare earlier this year when he they yeah. found you unconscious heart stop mm -hmm. dang right and i have um I have asthma. the blessing in them is that a lot of things did change right at that point mm. right at that moment a lot of things changed i mean um uh, it, it made me realize you know in movies um, you know, death is, is, is sexy. And when you, you know, you get that, uh, just make sure you uh, take out the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so beautiful about this interview? Is that these people, sometimes they're trolling, sometimes they're not very respectful to the people that they interview and stuff like that. Mostly women, mostly Charlemagne, let's keep it real. But in this interview, they were so respectful. They just have respect even before he entered this building, obviously, for DMX. But they just let him have the floor. They just let him speak. It was barely an interview and more him preaching to them. And that's what I thought was so beautiful about this interview. Um, have you ever spoke to God in those moments? Yes. Oh, yeah. Def Yo, man. That's what I'm talking the most. That's what you understand. 
That's when you need him more. Mm -hmm. That's when you need God more. And people think, oh, yo, yo, you higher. Yeah, yeah, this is when I need God more. You know, some people look at it as being a, a hypocritical or, or a contradiction. Like, you know, under the influence or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that's when you need God more than ever. Mm -hmm. So why not talk to him then? That's why, you know, Christians to be the one first ones to say, oh, but why is he talking to God? Oh, why is he, you know, why is he praying? Why is he on his knees? This and that and that. But it's like, yeah, because people who are struggling with using and all these type of things that have their inner demons that they're fighting, they need God the most. So you will sometimes see the person who's constantly clad keep coming into church because they need that change. They want that change. You know, they're, they're, they're looking for help. They say that the church is a hospital for the broken. And it's true. That's why you don't have to be surprised when you see people from all walks of life come into church, from all walks of life, praying, be on their knees, crying out to God. It's not necessarily hypocritical. It's not necessarily fake. And we are not the ones to judge either because we're not perfect either. You who is without sin cast the first stone. Crickets, because there's nobody like that but Jesus. God knows my heart. He knows my heart. We know what God is able to do, right. but we don't know what we what he's willing to do until we're in a situation where we need him to do it. Whatever you do, count your blessings every single day. That's what this interview made me think of. Like this is somebody whose life is not perfect. You see all this all this ice on his neck, all this ice on his fingers and everything, it doesn't mean his life is perfect. The money didn't make it perfect. The fame didn't make it perfect. He had his own things that he was dealing with. And if you want to read up about it, there's a whole bunch of channels that are talking about it, obviously, now. And, you know, you can read up about it. But, you know, he didn't also have an easy, easy childhood. Most of the people that gave me love ended up taking it back. What is meant by a bad childhood is here a matter, rather simply, of love. Our caregiver's characteristic way of looking at us becomes the way we consider ourselves. Is, is and these things follow you you can become rich but whatever you experience from birth will still follow you thanks god right. for what right. you already right. gave me right. you mean and you know people they they they, they no, i'm not knocking what nobody do but, 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 but i know god i'll be like yo really you again you still asking for this car <laughs> like, <laughs> but a maintenance yes. man whoever you backstage everybody hold hand turn the cameras yep. off we go pray exactly. humility inclusivity and seeing other people as human beings i love that to be at this level of stardom and fame and to still be like yo janitor you backstage person that nobody even talks to and says hello to all of us are gonna join together in a circle and we're gonna pray that's beautiful you know people people could clown him people can say whatever they want oh he had these explicit lyrics he curses yada 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 and i was talking about god he's such a hypocrite da, 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 da. we still have prosperity passes out here preaching the gospel laced with but if you do this you might get that car keep praying for that car keep praying for that house there's a lot of people that don't have that and are way more happy than the people who do have I mean, if there's no the situation then where's the potential for the miracle you don't need a miracle right hmm. it's just regular like, 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 like how you gonna get a, like, like, a miracle? like if every day was perfect and everything was perfect and everybody's life was perfect the word miracle wouldn't even exist right um yeah this this is a thing that i think you only understand when you're deep 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 in your faith and you really understand that wow to even have faith for a miracle means that everything isn't going to always be smooth sailing that's why people say you know when you become a christian it's not like life just becomes smooth sailing everything is just cool and kumbaya no in this life you will have struggle recording these gospel songs mm -hmm. when he was high Ooh. and he was high and you know so, some christians will be like ah look at that no that's not that's not good you do realize that sometimes this is spiritual warfare he didn't want to he probably didn't want to be high didn't know what else to do and used his musical abilities to write gospel songs to fight through it just like how some people in their lowest points will now start to sing will now start to pray because you still need that you still need that even though you're doing bad things you still need that and i think as a church, as a people, as Christians, we need to stop just judging. judging every single body, every single person that we think is not perfect because us judging means we're also not perfect. You're not supposed to judge because you you have sin yourself, you know? This day, 
We pray that any obstacle the devil plans to place in our path be removed in the name of Jesus. We pray that you have your will, have your way in our lives, Father. For we didn't make us so we couldn't possibly know what to do with us. Hmm. We thank you for the things that most people take for granted, Father. The air we have to breathe, the, 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 the food we have to eat, the, the clothes we have to wear, the cars we have to drive, the money we spend, the lives we touch, and the lives that have touched our own. I will show you word well invested. And whenever I go, before I go, let me give. Thanks to you, Lord, for my birth, for every day that I've lived. You gave me a love most of my life I didn't know was there. I give you my life because you can. Amen. Amen. Amen.